Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. Uh, we haven't done a video in a while on our T Max brushless conversion. This was the budget build. Uh, we actually got the chassis for this off of Craigslist for 30 bucks, and it was a uh, you know, it was originally a nitro gas car that uh, somebody had converted over to electric using. Uh, this is the motor mount and transmission off of uh, uh, the original Emacs. They call it the model number 3906. So uh, somebody had converted this over and we bought it as a roller uh, with um, basically just a steering servo over here and no electronics. So we put in the Hobby Wing WPSC8 uh, combo. This is with a 3800 kilovolts uh, brushless motor. So. Um, this has been working very well ever since we put it in. Um, we usually run this off of a 3S LiPo pack, uh, just really low profile uh, light battery pack here. And this thing is just an absolute blast to drive with the four wheel drive, uh, with the monster, big monster truck tires. We actually have bigger uh, Proline mashers on here, the 3.8 uh, mashers. Uh, but um, that proved to be a little bit too much tire for the, the plastic drive shafts here. And uh, there's actually uh, two different generations of the Emacs and T-Max. So this is the older generation that has these these uh, smaller drive shafts here. They, they beefed them up. Um, actually, there's even a, a couple of generations in here too. So you'll, you'll notice that the, you know, the, the, actually there are probably three generations of, of T-Max slash Emacs's. Um, the, the first generation had even thinner ones, we replace them with these beefier, uh, beefier second generation ones. And there's a third generation which actually have sliders, and they, uh, those uh, rather, um, they have sliders with boots, uh, you know, blue boots on them. And uh, those are shared with the Revo and E Revo. So those are the latest generation. We actually uh, have a roller with those on it, or rather a crash roller. Um, we were thinking about swapping those over, but um, the arms are actually different too. The arms got longer as well, and you can tell um, the difference. Uh, we, we don't have a pair of those handy, but actually the oval cutouts here um, for the longer arm ones are longer, right? So you can visibly tell that they uh, they are different longer arms on the, the, the latest generation of Emaxes and, and T-Maxes. Um, so this thing has just been a, a blast to drive. Um, you know, uh, having converted it over to brushless, a couple of things, a couple of failures that we have had or breakages, uh, in addition to those drive shafts, right, um, at each of those wheels. Uh, I think we've usually broken the rear ones. Uh, those are usually under more uh, more stress there because the weight of the vehicle, you know, goes backwards, right, when you're, when you're accelerating. Um, we've actually broken uh, one of the center drive shafts too, and you could tell which one here, this one. Right, this is an older generation. Let me just bring it closer to the camera here. You could tell by the the difference in the size of the pins, right? Look at the size of this pin versus that pin. So uh, this is the new generation one, and you could tell it's a lot beefier than the older generation one. Both the uh, the yoke here uh, and the 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 entire drive shaft is just a lot beefier than this uh, this previous or original generation one. So um, again, the rear is a lot more stressed. That's one, the one that gave out. The front one is still the original one that we're running here. Uh, and again, that's due to the fact that when you're accelerating, all that weight uh, is being put toward the back. Uh, the, the rear sees a lot more stress than the, the front here. Um, we've, we've had the servo give out too. It, the, the roller that we bought uh, came with, a, I believe it was a high-tech servo. And that one gave out. We actually replaced it with one of the original. Uh, this is a Traxxas 2055 uh, servo. So um, you know, not the not the uh, best servo here. It was actually original equipment on uh, on the Emacs and the T Max, uh, the original version there. So uh, we got an aftermarket guard. This came with the roller as well. Um, put on a. I think we broke the servo saver here too. So this is a newer one. Uh, that's you know that's solid doesn't have that spring in there the the trademark uh, tracks this one is white all right uh, so you know you could tell that this is uh, this has been upgraded uh, what else do we have here um, some of the some of the other features here um, so you'll notice that these 
uh, the pins here that go through the the a arms right these these are locked in with with clips um, let me see if uh, the here are non upgraded ones they they just screw in here right um, other things that we've done to this truck uh, in the front we're actually running the the pro line um, the pro line extended body mounts here with the the thumb screws these are pretty nice. Uh, just make sure to not lo lose those thumb screws because they are, um, you know, they are another cost to replace if you lose them. Uh, you'll notice that we're running white and red springs. Uh, you know, this isn't necessarily for suspension tuning purposes. Uh, this is this just marks the 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 shocks that we we blew out, right? Or the the um, rather the we we had bent shock shafts or whatnot. So you can see here, um, it's usually the inside ones that break. This is the only original one here so uh, out of the eight shock setup you know we've replaced three of these uh, but you know again this thing has been a blast this sees this sees a lot of duty in our garage uh, meaning uh, you know the kids drive it hard right um, and you could tell here here's another traditionally weak spot on this uh, this platform um, you can see a crack here in the bulkhead uh, the screw is out you know this bumper basically uh, transfers the force right into the front bulkheads here and these are plastic um, you know the, the a common upgrade is to go aluminum on them but it's it's pretty pricey uh, we were thinking of throwing the pro line ones in there just for some extra durability there the pro line plastics are of a much higher quality and uh, you know definitely take more punishment uh, and they have a lifetime warranty uh, unlike the stock Traxxas uh, plastics here um, I think we just trying to see if we have any damage to the rear. Yeah, the rear one right there. You can see it in, in the shot there. It's got a hairline crack in there as well. Um, so this this truck probably needs to to um, you know to have a pretty thorough going through. Meaning uh, you know getting to these bulkheads is um, no small feat. So uh, you know and seriously, we've been debating whether to just um, you know, start anew with one of the newer Emax chassis that we have. And uh, you know, just go ahead and transfer the conversion parts over to that, or um, whether to build this up. So uh, stay tuned to to see what we do with this this truck. Uh, again, it's been a blast to drive, but um, you know, definitely seen uh, a number of hard hits and uh, needs needs a little uh, needs a little love here in the garage. So again, this was our our thirty dollar <laughs> brushless budget uh, conversion. Uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.